Hey y'all, Pete here, just coming to you with an update today and asking your help with a call flood. If you haven't heard yet, Cop Block founder Adamo Freeman was kidnapped in cage last night. As you may know, he and Brian Sumner are currently on the road with the Mobile Accountability for Cops Tour, along with Kansas City, Kansas Cop Block co-founder Danny. Uh, they were stopped around 11.30 p.m. in Shawnee, Kansas, just west of Kansas City. Adamo, being the driver, was asked to produce identification, which he did. Uh, I guess after some questions about the insurance on the vehicle, uh, they came back and asked Adamo to step out of the car. They, Adamo was put in handcuffs and told that he was being kidnapped for the having a felony warrant out for criminal mischief. The two police employees there on the scene, Shawnee Police Employee Sanderson and his colleague, refused to go into any details and in fact claimed that they did not know any additional details. Adamo was then taken to the Johnson County Adult Detention Center where he's currently held. I just learned that his bail is posted at $4,000, so in all likelihood it'll mean that Adamo sits the weekend in a cage. Again, he didn't hurt anybody. I'll go into some details in a moment. Adamo is scheduled to appear in Legal Land Monday at the Johnson County Courthouse at 1.30 p.m. So if you're in the greater Kansas City area and have the time, ability, and interest, I encourage you to make it out there and support him. What exactly was this felony criminal mischief warrant for? Uh, a couple weeks ago, over two weeks ago, on October 1st, uh, as part of the MAC tour, a demo and some other folks were in Noblesville, Indiana, just northeast of Indianapolis, and they chalked the police outfit. Uh, they used children's chalk on the sidewalk, and they used a product called liquid chalk. Later that evening, when Adamo and Brian returned to the Mobile Accountability for Cops vehicle, they found themselves uh, confronted by four Noblesville police employees. The Noblesville police employees told them, you know, they really didn't care about the chalk. They said it's public space, they, though they may not agree with the messages, not a big deal. Uh, the messages, by the way, included things like badges don't grant extra rights. But they, the police employees did tell them that someone who they thought was associated with their group had applied paint or spray paint. We're investigating the crime of criminal mischief bailing. Somebody painted our police department. Painted? Painted. There's paint or spray paint. There's truck there too, but we're there's paint which is permanent. So we're investigating that. This is something that a demo vehemently denied having part of. He said he's chopped over hundred police outfits in the USSA and he's never used paint. During that instance, again on October first, they weren't uh, threatened with any legal land charges or anything. So fast forward to last night, these guys are in Kansas and Adamo supposedly has a felony warrant out for this action. Last night before Adamo was kidnapped and caged, they uh, decided to do their own sort of fishing expedition. They uh, took a headlight out of the vehicle uh, with the intention of when and if they got stopped by a police employee, they would ask the police employee to provide them the service of helping them install the headlight back in. Was that the smartest thing? It's not something I would do myself, but again, there was no victim. And, uh, you know, as Brian, who again was present on the scene, noted, he said this just to him represents another way traffic stops are used to turn innocent people into criminals. I also spoke to Danny who was on the scene as well and he said, I sat and watched an officer make an illegal U-turn about three blocks from us. The hypocrisy is what kills me. It's a war on the poor and police are above their own quote laws. And then Danny went into detail that if these threats in legal land continue to be waged at a demo, the costs of all that will be uh, placed on the taxpayers from the area so it's not you know, something that makes sense for anyone who really cares about justice. But it does make sense for political actors and police who want to protect their own and want to protect their perceived legitimacy to try to deter people from even questioning their actions. So again, if you have some free time, I encourage you to make a couple calls. It really does make a difference. I know that from personal experience. It helps the aggressors know that their actions are being watched and it makes more likely a uh, positive conclusion to this otherwise uh, negative incident coming about and it also helps protect each of us in the future as police employees know that uh, there is a support network and we do look out for each other so again the numbers for Adamo's current location the Johnson County Adult Detention Center is in the description as is 
the contact information for the Shawnee, Kansas police outfit where the arresting, uh, where the kidnappers work out of, as well as the contact information for the Noblesville, Indiana police outfit who instigated this incident in the first place. It sounds like others involved with Kansas City, Kansas Cop Block uh, are set on making a chalking event both in Kansas City and elsewhere. So I encourage you to stay abreast of this developing situation uh, via copblock.org slash Mac and the Kansas City, Kansas Cop Block group. Thanks for your time.